ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. You've clicked on the Weather Extreme video from ABC 3340. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters, and welcome to this Sunday, January the 6th edition. Let's take a quick spin around Alabama. Here's a look at one of my favorite shots down the Tom Bigby River from the Civic Center in Demopolis. A little bit of fog and low clouds going on down there. Looking like a nice day over Gadsden as we see some breaks in the clouds, and I do expect us to see at least a little bit of sun today as opposed to the lack of sun yesterday. And here is a look at Chiha, and I uh, don't see too many clouds in that sky as we look out over the uh, restaurant and uh, over the the uh, hotel up there at Chiha. Here's the surface map, and we have a bit of a high pressure off to our east, causing sort of a mini wedge, not exactly a true classic wedge, but certainly uh, at least causing some problems for trying to figure out the temperatures uh, with a bit of an east to west gradient. At 500 millibars, we're coming under the ridge that we talked about yesterday as a Fairly substantial trough develops off to the west. Temperatures much milder, still a little cool across the northern and central parts of Georgia, as you can see from kind of the wedge effect, the cold air damming that we have. But look at those temperatures across the lower Mississippi River Valley, the mid-60s. And this is, what, January? Wow, kind of amazing, isn't it? Here are the temperatures across central Alabama, and you can see the, the gradient from the lower 40s in uh, west central Georgia over to the uh, mid 50s across west central Alabama. So quite an interesting temperature gradient over there, but I do think we'll see a bit of sun today. A few wind advisories for the lower Mississippi River Valley as we start to get a strong southerly flow ahead of the next system, plus a few winter weather advisories out there in uh, the uh, Rockies and some flash flood warnings for southwestern uh, and Southern California. All right, rainfall. Wow, this is looking very favorable. We certainly can use the rain, and I thought uh, maybe we'd take a look. We've got two major rain events coming during this five-day uh, period. Here's the first one. This is through 12Z Wednesday. I think most of the rain will be over, and it looks like uh, on average, uh, probably Birmingham, Clanton, Montgomery, about uh, oh half inch or so, maybe a little bit less, and then from Birmingham northward, the possibility of an inch of rain. And then the second system, the one coming at us on Thursday, projected to give us a little bit more rain on the order of potentially one and a half to two and a half inches. Now, I think this may be just a little over zealous here at the moment. I've just, I don't know, been burned too many times here think maybe we need to scale that back just a little bit, but certainly hopeful. Severe weather-wise, Storm Prediction Center outlooking for day two, a large area of the uh, middle Mississippi River Valley. And then on day three, this would be Tuesday, uh, from strong thunderstorms, we've gone to a slight risk of severe from about west central Alabama across most of Mississippi and a little bit of uh, Louisiana. So something that we will definitely be watching. And just like many of the systems we've already dealt with in the last couple of months, it's just going to depend on how unstable the atmosphere can become. All right, let's go ahead and get to the maps. Here's the 06E GFS model run. And here is the 500 millibar pattern for tomorrow at midday. And you can see the trough developing off to our west. And with that, a bit of a low pressure area developing. They're kind of elongated from the central Mississippi River Valley back into the Four Corners area. That low gets its act together and pulls up across the Ohio uh, River Valley and uh, into the Great Lakes area on uh, Tuesday, and that will bring us our best chance for rain on Tuesday. By Wednesday at midday, the storm system is up into the uh, southeastern Canada area with the cold front trailing down through the southeastern United States, and we should be drying out for Wednesday. Wednesday is going to be our dry day as a new trough develops to our west, and that brings another low uh, across the central part of the United States. And, of course, you can see that we're not going to completely lose the surface front 
as you can see, it draped across the southeastern U.S. Uh, so this does give us some hope for some significant precipitation with this next system. But still, I don't know, I'm a little, little reluctant here. By Friday, that system is up over Pennsylvania and New York, and the front is down into the Gulf of Mexico. Then we begin to deal with the third system. Just a continuous train here. Here comes the next one. And this is the one we were talking about yesterday. James was talking about Friday that was showing the possibility of winter weather. Still there, but not quite as favorable. And the reason for that is, you'll see in a moment, the surface low is a little further to the north. Here's the surface map for Saturday, the 12th. And you can see we still have that front draped across the northern gulf and a surface low forming in the northwestern Gulf of Mexico. The trough moves at us, leaving a little piece back over there near the Four Corners area, but bringing out a very significant piece of energy as a nice, uh, significant short wave is moving across the Mid-South. And with that, here is what the GFS is predicting now for the 13th. And that is a low over, oh, it looks like about Knoxville, with a cold front stretching down to about Tallahassee. And that is a little different because that puts the low a little further north. Now, certainly that's going to bring us some cold air, but that doesn't look quite as favorable. This looks more like rain changing to snow before ending, and that doesn't usually give us significant snow events in the southeastern U.S. Now, here's an intermediate time. This is uh, about midnight on Sunday night, and what I wanted to focus on here is the zero-degree isotherm at 850 is all the way down to about Troy. Uh, so certainly the possibility exists for some winter weather. And then on Monday, you can see that there's lots of clouds and possible drizzle or light rain or light snow since the 540 thickness line is down to about, uh, oh, looks like about Jasper or so. And then by Monday the 14th, uh, we begin to clear out, but still the GFS indicating some moisture. So not quite as favorable as it was before. Now let's go out uh, further into voodoo land, and uh, we still have a pretty active system. Here's Wednesday the 16th, and uh, while we've got a trough going by, it tends to be dry, but we're going to be a bit chilly. Then another deep trough around the 19th that promises some more uh, cold air. As you can see, the 540 line all the way down to south of Mobile. And then on the 21st, we come under a ridge, and of course, that means we warm up pretty spectacularly. Well, that will do it for this long weather extreme video. Certainly appreciate you tuning in. Hope that you have a great Sunday. James will be back with the next weather extreme video tomorrow morning, bright and early. Have a great Sunday, and God bless.